We gon' feel the music bumping all night long. We can go out tonight. We can go and party and live our lives. And and feel the vibrations. It goes on and on and on. We can go.
Uh oh, uh oh. Woo! We live! Welcome, welcome. Everybody in the chat. Is the camera on? I'm about to bring it in right now. <laughs> Boom! Oh, How are you? Thanks for here. having me. Oh, it's a new logo. You're doing it big. We doing it big, bro. Moose. <laughs> it's on. immaculate. It's extravagant. Man, I don't got the theme song in here, but it's all good. It's What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Mayhem Hour. We are on chapter Jordan 23. Um... We got some fun stuff tonight to go over. I'm excited to share some stories with you guys. And uh, 
you know, we trying to up this thing. We got the slider cam in here. You know, we got the comedy trap house light box lit. Run it up, run it up. Turn up. And no, of right. course, we got <laughs> Mike Dam in the building. Always up to no good. Tatted uh -huh. face. <laughs> run it up, run it up. What's that mean, exactly? I press like and stuff. Oh, there you go. Okay. Run it up. Run it up. You heard the man. Run it up. Hit the like button. Where is it? Subscribe. All that. Where is it 3 a.m. at, Daniel? Where is it 3 a.m. at? He said he up at 3 a.m. to catch this live. Where is it? I appreciate that, Daniel. Where is it 3 a.m.? On a, on a... Yeah. Jupiter? <laughs> he said Jupiter. <laughs> 3 a.m. in Jupiter. Uh... That sounds like a Drake song. 3 a.m. in Jupiter. 3 a.m. in Jupiter. Uh, we got a couple things. How you feeling, Mike? You good? Yeah, I'm alright. I had a quick question for you before we get started. Um, is this your first time doing, having a bald head in the wintertime? Coming no. up? No, I think uh, last winter I was bald. Oh, yeah, bald? I was definitely bald last winter. You were? Yeah. How's it affected your, your treatment of your head? Do you, does it feel like it gets colder? Uh, yeah, yeah, my head just gets colder, <laughs> I mean, but I've been wearing a scully, but yeah, definitely my head gets colder. It's a different experience once you have a bald head. I I, I suggest everyone try it. <laughs> if you up for look it. At the, look at this nigga, Pizza Popo. He trolling. <laughs> Mike is bald? <laughs> he trolling. <laughs> what's up from Dallas? What's good, Tori? What's up, nobody? Pizza Popo, of course. Wavy. Leslie Pope, of course. Daniel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Tori. I think he know. I think he just, I think he trolling. He, he know. He been in here. <laughs> um, <laughs> so second year with a bald head in the cold. Maybe three, man. I don't know. Maybe three? Has it been three years since you had a bald head? It's been a while. I've been going bald for a long time, too, so. I didn't think that. I didn't know that. I think it's, I think it's been a solid three. Cause, yeah. When I dropped my uh, daddy's season album, I was bald, remember? <laughs> that was years ago. Uh, a couple things on the docket today. Um, as I got it written out right now, NFL, trans, that can mean anything. <laughs> Wedding, uh, scare men, X-Men, and that is it. That's what I have right now. Um, so this is what we're going to do. You know, we always got to start off right with the whole, you know, uh, what's my segment called? At least I'm not down. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have today one. Mm -hmm. One particular one I just want to play straight through. Straight through. And... I think it's pretty much the most cringiest thing I've seen this week, at least. Let's do it. All right, so uh, you got the headphones, Bobby? Y'all ready for this? Da 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 da. Let me set it up real quick. This is a lady's wedding, and this is her best friend giving a speech at the wedding. The girl is, I believe, Oh, the girl is white, the who's getting married, and the husband is a black man. So you have half a black family on the side, half white. Mm. All right. Hi, I'm Shannon. I've known Tracy for, oh God. <laughs> I think so. It's not even a little Yeah. So I don't quite know Anthony that well. But Tracy talked about you like nonstop. <laughs> Seriously. And she'd be like, I mean, you do that. I'm like, I don't care. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. You guys are so cute together. Ugh. I swear to God, you guys, I hope the one of us. Seriously. Like, tell death to his part, Anthony. Seriously. You better take care of my girl. Because if you don't, I know where you live. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, God. Um, but, yeah, you guys are so cute. Like, 
you're part of the family. Yes, we've got like I'm not gonna be racist, you guys. I'm just saying. Oh okay. God. I'm gonna be racist. Okay. No. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Like animation cups. I'm like, no, seriously, you guys are outstepping the stereotype, and I love it. Like, but you guys, I swear, I love black people because you guys are the best. Like, my own daughter's great aunt is like the best one. It's so true. And my daughter's great aunt. I love you guys. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like started clapping hard scene. as fuck. <laughs> Who says that, bro? Who says I'm not trying to be racist <laughs> in the middle of a goddamn wedding speech? I mean, like, all oh, white women like that. That's exactly how they. That's their inner thoughts. <laughs> oh, there. That's just them spewing it out. She just spewed it out at the time. Uh, yo, Sir Collins, I was going to say the same thing. I was like, she's a little thick, too. I <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, hey, dude, look, Yes, Sir she Collins. She got up there, I was like, hey, she a little thick. <laughs> that's the first thing I said. Nigga, she <laughs> looked terrible to me. She, she looked like Amy she Schumer. She like Amy Schumer. She's like a, she yeah. like a Karen. It's almost like a, a skit she was doing up there. Yeah. That was like an Amy Schumer skit, like the embarrassing white girl, the embarrassing Karen. So in this, in this segment of At Least I'm Not Them, I don't know who you don't want to be in this segment. Cause I mean, <laughs> it's cringy on one side. I'd be dying. Jeez, I'd be laughing my ass off. I just did an interracial wedding, and I was actually hoping no one said anything. So did someone say crazy? No, that the, the speeches. No one did. No one said anything racial. You just got to keep race out of it at that point. It's just. Hey, my guy's tied down now, like slavery. <laughs> <laughs> now, what if a black? What if his? A, what if his black best man went up there and told jokes like that? Is it worse or better, or is it is it worse or is it the same, or less because he's black? Um, if the black man went up there, the, say his best man was black to give a speech, and he was saying the same thing to the white girl, like, but you know, like it would be funny. It'd be funny, right? It'd be funny. People would just laugh. <laughs> the, the white people would just feel uncomfortable, but mm -hmm. they wouldn't say shit. They wouldn't. Mm -hmm. They would just be like, okay. But I just thought it was funny as fuck. How just listen to listen to how they try to get her off stage so quick. Hi, I'm Shannon. <laughs> Listen to I this part. Tracy for At the end here. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. You're part of the family. Yes. God, like, I'm not going to be racist, you guys. I'm just oh, saying. Okay. I'm going to be racist, okay? And then she goes and no, 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 move with it. Oh, of course, you guys are going to get uh, like animation cops. Oh, my God. No, seriously. You guys are outstepping the stereotype. But you guys, I swear, I love black people because you guys are the best. Like, my own daughter's great aunt is like the best one. So oh, God. And you said the best one? <laughs> I love you guys. Bless you. Thank you. I'm going to You're that class. Like, I'm just looking at the DJ like in the background. I'm like, oh god, I know that life, man. He took that mic quick. He was on his job, though. Well, he, he's just there, man. Bless you. <laughs> the little girl, or the she don't. You think the little girl knows what's going on? Oh, you think someone said you think the husband hitting that on the side? It, it depends on what what, the, what his wife looked like. If his wife looked like that, then yeah. Yeah, I pick his wife. I don't want to talk about one the men. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. The only thing his wife is another, like a, a prettier white girl. Is one of them Nebraska Bill bitches. Yeah, she she looked like a Karen boy. Corn husker. She looked like she cried at the at the drop of adversity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody drop a napkin. She called the cops. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help me. Fear of my life. I'm not racist. <laughs> These two black guys? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, ma'am, calm down. <laughs> Shout out to all the white women in here. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> the, let me see. Is there one white woman in here? I doubt. Put it. your hand up if you're a white woman in here. Give us a white emoji. <laughs> Give us a white emoji. <laughs> so all of them, <laughs> except the one with the bonnet. That's hilarious. There's a white girl in here just just cautiously watching. <laughs> just she worked not, for the government. Yeah, she's not saying nothing. She's just watching. How far is she gonna let us go until she sends the snipers? Hey, whoever's whoever's working for Drake, we know you're in here. <laughs> go ahead, Mike. We know you're. Me and Amanda both Break know. It down. We both know you're in here. I think we 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 explained this one time, but we got some new people in here. Might want to know your story with Drake. Mike has an extravagant story for y'all about Drake that I think you need to hear. But whether you take it as truth or not, it's up to you. Man. <laughs> I dated one of Drake's ex a while ago, and he was still trying to get back with her. Now that's true. Was she ever in a song? Yeah. Oh, her name's a, her name, her dad name, in plenty of songs. Really? Oh, yeah, she's in songs. Damn. And um, while I was with her, he was trying to get back with her. Did someone say Mike line, ladies? This is. Hey, no, I can vouch for him on that one. He's so, telling the truth about dating this girl, right? Yeah, he's telling the truth. On and that. ever since then, bro. This nigga been dropping lines and all, every album, at least every, at least one song every album that yeah. has that's very specific to that situation. Mm -hmm. Or like even this last album, there's a line that I got in one of my songs that's out. Mhm. Mm and Drake l deliberately took the line and just said it word for word. And I don't feel like he needs my bars, but I feel like he be doing it just to be like, yeah, nigga. And he be saying stuff that hits me, like I'd be like, "Damn, he talking about me." <laughs> I'm I telling y'all, I need some sound effects in here. So I'm telling y'all, whoever, whoever, right in, now, here, whoever in here work for Drake, listen, man, I know you're in here. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep getting better. And you'll see it eventually. You'll see it eventually. So that's the first conspiracy of the night. <laughs> Mike is being watched by Drake, y'all. They in here. They're not, they laughing right now or they probably calling him. <laughs> They probably call him right now and be like, I think he knows. And Drake's like, ah, whatever. Ah. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Um, I guess on the, <laughs> since we're on the tra trend of white women right now, can I give you another one? And I don't really know what she, this woman is. Um, to, you know, tonight's topic is women going mayhem. So, uh, but this particular woman here, I don't know if she is, uh, I'm working my way up to demon woman. We'll get there in a second, but. This woman right here is apparently married to an NFL or I believe an NFL star. She's one of these, I don't know, she's kind of racially ambiguous. Asshole. Oh, yeah, I saw this. You got, you seen her? Mm hmm. Uh, and she's basically talking about how she spends a man's money. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, listen to it and we'll, we'll get back to it. Let's, let's check it out. Let's say. Let's say that I agree with this one. When I we get paid i will spend as much money as i want because it's our money and he decided to marry me and i do everything that he wants like i'll cook and clean and stuff like that and when he makes money i'm gonna spend it okay, and that's just stuff. what marriage is like you don't have to get married as soon as we became one oh jesus christ <laughs> i watched so this earlier and i'm disgusted. still <laughs> i'm disgusted i'm already <laughs> <laughs> yeah how y'all feel about that Pizza Popo's obviously disgusted. Look, she not saying nothing wrong. Okay. She's just saying Give me a take. Break it down. In the wrong way, and then nobody wants to hear it. Okay. It's like, that's like that a I kid agree. coming out on, on, on a, with a video on TikTok saying, my parents make money and I spend it because it's my money too. Right. And we are one. My mom is, and whatever my mom has, it's mine too. He'd be like, duh, nigga, like, <laughs> we don't need a video for that. You don't need to brag on that. Like, hum be humble about it. Like, I feel like you just got to be humble about stuff like that. I mean, at first, I ain't going to front. Do, do you feel any, like, obviously, there's the entitlement to it, and I, I absolutely agree with that. Mm -hmm. But do you feel bad for my man here at all? Or do you feel like you pick him? He looked lost, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> when I 
see this picture for some reason. This picture he look hypnotized. brings some type of sentimentality to, to, to my heart. He like he, he's in shape, he's a he's a handsome guy, he's a, he's strong, he's an NFL. He's but he looks like he's getting beaten but he down. Looks, he looks lost. He man. looks like he's getting beaten down by this woman in life. It looks like his girl got a, a dog whistle every time he hear it, he just Yeah, he got a turn. Every time he go anywhere, he said, oh, my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he just remembered her. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, my wife. Bro, you're at 7-Eleven. <laughs> you just came over here for a second, B. I feel really bad for him, man. And I know he's worth millions of dollars, probably. <laughs> but he ain't got no she just doesn't seem humble. She doesn't give, like, she's, she's happy about what she's got in her life. You know I, I, mean? I, I don't even know like if I could say that because maybe she I mean obviously she's happy about it she's bragging about it but it's just that she's bragging about it and she looks like that and, and I tried to put it in a black woman's like I was like if that was a black woman's what does she this. look like Her? like an animal who this girl yeah I mean she's like a Kim K version okay that's what you're saying she's I was like just she, trying to mean what you meant by that by what what I say that she looks like that like what oh, yeah. she looked like. Oh yeah, the Kim K, you know, IG, the, the, the modern beauty look right now. The right. Palestinian white woman, big booty, big lips, surgery look, you know? <laughs> 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 you know? Look like her face swollen and shit, you know? But Yeah, that's the new shit. You know these girls get the, like, like you know how they contour the face with yeah, makeup yeah, and shit? No, no. They got it. surgery now mm -hmm. to make your it. face look like an avatar. I know all about it, man. So it's like um, I was trying to see, okay, if this was a black woman saying this, would I feel the way the same way? And I think I would too. I'd just be like, don't, don't, don't put that out there. Yeah, I, I don't care the color of her skin. Well, the only thing I, f I think it makes me feel worse for the dude. If it was a black woman? Or no, no. If it was a black woman, I would just be like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. But because it's a white woman, I feel like. No, bro, he lost his soul. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like he's getting everything taken advantage of. Like, <laughs> everything, bro, you, you went down. And the down fact the that she's, she's out here saying that I'm taking his money. It's like that hitchhiker that left to, to, I mean, not hitchhiker, he was a runner. He decided to run, like, from Africa to, like, China or some shit. Oh. And everybody told him not to go. And he ended up dying. He got killed or something. Never yeah, found man. him again. I, what was I saying? What was I comparing that to? <laughs> I Him? forgot what I was talking about. Him? Yeah, I guess. I, or her face? I don't know. Yeah, Why man, I, I have I have face? a lot to say because it's like it's, it's, I know a lot of guys like this. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of like that. What you mean you kind of like? I kind of like her. She look, you know, I kind of like that look. I ain't gonna lie. Her? I fuck. I mean, of course you fuck. I fuck. You know what I'm saying I fuck. <laughs> really? I fuck. I'm not saying that bad. I'm saying I fuck. I fuck. <laughs> I'm not saying we'll that bad. We'll spend as much money as I want because it's our money, and he decided to marry yeah, me. And I do everything. Yeah, that Kim K look. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like it, it looked good, but it's just it's just played out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and she probably built herself to look like that. Right. And then I saw a video with her. Um, and it's not about her looks, you know, but she. She's at the a pretty the, girl. She just. She just. Uh, in the right. It's the soul, dog. That's what I care about. It's like why you? Why you gotta come on here and say? It? And then and then, and then it, it just feel like a little kid saying, "I'm gonna spend your money and you can't say nothing about it." Like it's this my supposed money to be your too. man. You ain't gonna show no like right. he's 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 allowing you to have this life. Right. And you and you just over here. Yep, I shit on his chest. <laughs> That's what she's saying. She throwing it out there. Yep, I shit on his chest. It don't sit right with me, and um. And he gonna like it no matter what. That's what she's saying. In my opinion. Because <laughs> I don't know if I even... I, I Like, you know, if money's no object to me, I'm still just like, you just you just, just can't wait to spend the money? Like, tell me something else. Like, tell me you want to do something else. Like, I'd rather you just... But you just want to spend it? That's just what you want to... Like, I don't know if I would want someone whose personality is just like, I just want to spend money. You know how they say we we were kings and queens and all this? Yeah. Like, I wonder if, like, Tut Moses had to deal with his women back in ancient Egypt talking about. Well, I spent all his shillings. 
They couldn't spend nothing. They, had, they couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> oh, they went somewhere. No, they couldn't go nowhere. They couldn't leave the castle. No, they, they weren't no castle. Whatever they were in, they couldn't leave it. The pyramids? Them. They were just chilling in the pyramids. They couldn't you can't leave. leave the pyramid. Where are they going to go? Where are you going? To do what? You have everything here. You gonna visit your home, girl? You know, I mean, no. they don't need to leave Egypt. They, they, did they travel around Egypt? I'm sure. Yeah, but they went with him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you don't have to worry about that when your girl can't leave the house. Yeah, where's she gonna go spend money at? Like you, she, I'm gonna go to the mall. No, bitch, we got everything here. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas who make the shit that we selling live right here. They right there. Go ask them where you. The the oop knock 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 mall. <laughs> yeah, right there. Go go ask the nigga to make Anybody it. Y'all know about that mall. <laughs> it's easier back then, you know. Nowadays, these girls got cars and stuff. <laughs> they were still doing OnlyFans back then. They were doing at only least hoeing, <laughs> bare minimum. All right. Uh, finally, on a destination of just terrible, terrible women. Uh, she would keep trading his sheep out here, and <laughs> no, I got one for a man too. But I saw this uh, Pierce. Morgan. Name? Pierce Morgan had an interview recently. He's been doing a bunch of people. Andrew Tate. Oh, he's just trying to get close. I might do a special on Andrew Tate one of these episodes. But uh, he did Andrew Tate, and then he, he did this feminist recently. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was called the... I was trying to figure out a better name for Egyptian OnlyFans. Hotep, Hotep fans. <laughs> Hotep. Whole fans. Only pyramids. <laughs> Only pyramids. There you go. What's that Frank Ocean song, Pyramids? Is that? Hotel Pose. Um. What is this here? Hold on, y'all. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Pierce Morgan had this interview with Feminist recently. And listen to what ultimately this demon witch woman said. Let's, let's uh, listen to what this woman said. Teenage boys now, they are so Fair terrified use, that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, see, I and like that's that far terror. too much. Well, I, I, I like that. As a mother of a teenage boy, I don't like really? that terror. Really? That's the most vicious thing I've ever heard. I awful. think that men should be frightened. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then how do they ever start? Well, uh, don't. If you're not 100% sure, what are we going don't. To what? what are you going to have? A bunch of neutered Celebr boys you've never had? So we actually it's do have that. Gen Z is having far less sexual relationships yes, than any... They are. Before. It's true. And Young people on. have stopped having sex. I <laughs> Ain't that ridiculous? Wait, what? What is she talking about? They're talk. Okay, so I didn't set it up. But uh, they're, they're essentially talking about how... Uh, because of uh, movements like... Not because of. Obviously, movements like that were kind of needed, but some of the after effects of the Me Too movement and things like this, uh, you're starting to have young boys that are scared to even approach a girl. You have, you know, scared to like, hey, I can't even talk to you. It's already awkward being a teenager. Young boys. Yeah. Shit. But even as they grow up now, they're becoming awkward men. Grown you know what I'm saying? Men, grown men having a problem out here. <laughs> that too. That too. But that's the point. And they're saying like, it's becoming a weird fear now instead of just like, hey, respect them. Mm -hmm. You should fear them. And, and, and so she's saying and, it's and the good chicken, to fear the woman. The witch woman in the middle. But then see. what is she getting out of that? Who? Uh, unlimited girls nights? <laughs> she said we shouldn't even be with each other. She said fuck it. We, we, they should be alone. Okay. Teenage well, good. boys now, they are so terrified that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, see I and like that far too much. Well, I, I, I like that. As a mother of a teenage boy, I don't like really? that. That's terror. the most vicious thing I've ever heard. That is I think that men should be frightened. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to should have one have that could physical. ruin a woman's life. But then how do they ever start? Well, don't. If you're not 100% sure, well, don't. What are you going to have? A bunch of neutered Celebr boys you've never had? So we actually do have that. Gen Z is having far less sexual relationships yes, than any... They are. Before. It's true. And Young people have stopped having sex. It's true. I think feminists are dudes, though. <laughs> well, they started off as dudes, apparently. I think I think it's dudes behind it's it, terrorist. and I think a lot of them are dudes, man. It's just weird. I mean, that is a part of the big conspiracy here. Is um, I guess before I go on to these next stories, which we're gonna hit on, but 
you know, there is an agenda here. There's something that's going on here. That's whether it like infiltrated our the media for sure. Movies, TV, um, music, you know, even us. We know we were in it. We're in it. All the meetings that we've taken, when people tell you certain things to try to lead a script or a plot or something mm -hmm. we have, our, the, our creativity in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. You know us when we're in dormtainment, how many times they say, oh, you guys should throw a, a woman character in there and have her lead and you guys be the background. But, but that's not in the story. Why don't you add a woman best friend, a female best friend? And it's like, yeah, we, we, we could do it if it makes sense, if it's a part of the story, but they trying to force certain things. Yeah, and she we, has we to be, and no what does that female no. friend or that female main pr protagonist have to be? She has to be strong. Yeah. Gotta show her strong. She gotta be smarter than y'all. And she we gotta don't be have better. no strong women in our life. We don't know what that is. Like, what the fuck? That's not the story we're trying to tell. I'm playing y'all. Trying to tell a story about some rappers right quick. <laughs> yeah. And they they always, you know, it's a thing. You gotta make it like that. And it gets annoying as fuck. It's, it's, it is. They just, they, they follow the trend. It doesn't allow you just to create freely. Where people can create, yo... Like, even look at the first Iron Man, if you want to talk about a comic book movie. The first Iron Man has some of the biggest, the the the, the, the most toxic character ever. Mm -hmm. Tony Stark was a, was a, the height of male toxicity. Mm -hmm. But he makes a great fucking character. He makes a great character. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter how, like, what, it, this is for the screen, this character is a great character. Most of those characters are like now you can't even find one unless you go to India. Like you seen R R R? No, what's that? <laughs> it's a action movie. Uh, it's, it's like a ridiculous Indian action movie mm. out of India where they, I mean, all the slow mo, just like straight guy porn, not guy porn. That's what I'm about to say. I don't uh, say uh, <laughs> it's straight like, what do they call it? Like action uh, porn? You know? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. But uh. It's interesting. Like recently, a woman that I, I believe she works for Disney or Fox, or she did work for Fox or something. Um, she came out and said about the X Men. Um, well, I'll just let you hear it. I actually have it right here. I actually got to fast forward a little bit, right quick. <laughs> Funny. How are you? Okay. Laughing. She's I like an executive. Like what it was. We'll be picking them all. Every day. Fraggle. But you know, little hint of what the future. Fraggle. Okay. But there it you goes. know, I mean, I think she turned out to be pretty phenomenal. So you guys have a lot of toys to play with now in the future, including the X Men, right? Yeah. Could you, uh, with of course you can't tell me much, but can you give me a little hint of what the future is coming? Where is the future going and the excitement? Um, I don't know where the future is going. It's funny that people call it the X Men. There's a lot of female. Um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. Um, I don't know where it's gonna go. We'll, we'll see, they just, they just now have joined. They actually have a movie coming out very soon, which is uh, under that banner is their last film. So we'll see what- uh, You hear that know, bullshit what, um, anyway? Listen to this again. Uh, uh, no. Uh, it can only be one, so every day is a struggle. But you know, I mean, I think to play with now in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. Struggle, but you know, I mean, I think she turned out to be pretty phenomenal. So you guys have a lot of toys to play with now in the future, including the X Men, right? The X Men. Could you, uh, with of course you can't tell me much, but can you give me a little hint of what the future is coming? Where is the future going and the excitement? Uh, um, I don't know where the future is going. It's funny that people call it the X Men. There's a lot of female. Um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group. So I think it's outdated. It's outdated. <clears throat> Mike, I know you're not a big comic book guy, but I grew up on the X-Men and these motherfuckers. And they're trying to change them into, uh, what do you say up there? X-Female. Exactly. <laughs> KJ. It's going to be like everything is just headed towards that or, or some type of, now I heard they're trying to swap out all the, not only the genders, but the uh, the races of these characters. When we have a multitude of characters that, from different genders, different, we don't need to make this person black or this person female, all this, in comic book stuff. Because there's plenty of them. 
plenty of different mutants. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to even take the name men because it has men in it, which everybody for, uh, in the in, in dictionary, it says mankind. Exactly. So mankind is outdated. We're man, women are a part of mankind. Listen, man, I'm just gonna so go to bed. Hmm? I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> wake up, wake me up when um, <coughs> when men are back in style. <laughs> right, we out of style apparently. Men out of style, man. It's, we 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 weak, bro. We lame. Look at the look at like if you really pay attention, like look at woman king. You're it's cool to say woman that. king. I watched this movie. Mike watched it recently. Woman we have we have our opinion. Yeah, we talked about Woman King mm -hmm. a little bit. I actually liked the movie. I thought the movie as a just as a script and movie was good. But what the fuck are we watching? First of all, historically it was just all fucked up. And then two, why are they pushing so hard for that? Like, there's no more kings in movies anymore. Black Panther's coming out this weekend or came out today, yesterday, whenever. How was that? Where people I didn't see it yet. And I'm I'm hesitant because it's like it's not gonna be a male uh, Black Panther anymore. I'm hesitant because <laughs> you didn't like the first yeah, one. Exactly. <laughs> like, and I'm not here, you know. So it's like they got a female Hawkeye, they got a female Hulk, they got a female female Black Widow again, <laughs> a new one. They got a uh, who else? You got One Division. You got a. I know I'm missing something. You got the WNBA. You got the WNBA. You got the, <laughs> you got the crazy, WNBA. <laughs> All that, man. They want they want the NBA players to donate to them so they can make up money, make more money. Ain't that something? Listen, man. I just think you just gotta go to bed, man. Uh, There's really nothing you can do right now. Don't stress yourself out. Just go to sleep. Drink some tea when you wake up. Go back to sleep. Everything I love is outdated. You gotta hibernate. It's outdated. You gotta hibernate. You can't be cool anymore as a man. Men gotta all go hibernate and just let women do their thing right now. It's done. It's over. We 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 lost. <laughs> it's just it's just ridiculous. Guys, man. I'll see you in ten years. <laughs> I'll see you in ten years. <laughs> but if it goes back, it's like did something bad happen before we get there? Cause I don't want nothing bad to happen. I don't um, want this bitch to turn into Gilead. Yeah, it's gonna have to. And then we gonna be the guys clean it up and then we gonna die before we even see it become something good for us again. And that's just the way the world works, guys. Asteroid needs to come. Nah. Asteroid, asteroid just needs to hit. What's gonna solve this, man? Time, man. It's just not our time right now. <laughs> it's not it our time. There's nothing you can do. It's fucking the only ridiculous. thing that can solve this right now, and I don't want to wish it on the on the world, is a natural disaster, for real. That's what they saying. That's why the asteroid should hit. But the asteroid, for the asteroid. asteroid could ruin the whole world. I'm talking about like we need a, you know, we need another Katrina or. or if we take <laughs> out a quarter of the population, I think we'll be good. It, it's got to be like another 9/11 or something happened. Thanos where, was right. <laughs> something happened where a whole bunch of men got to go save people. Uh huh. And and sacrifice their lives, and then women be like, you know what? These men, are, these men aren't bad. Yeah, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. That's yeah, no, they need, they, they need to need us again. I'm saying, ask me another natural people. disaster. They need um, to need us. Where maybe like, that's why they, the, the government makes natural disasters. That's a conspiracy for you. To try to get men and women to get along? No, they're trying to keep us apart. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to keep men superior. So they always put natural disasters so men can look good. All right, guys, go save the day. Cause they losing respect for us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I truly believe they're trying to like uh, feminize us. They're trying to like. Uh, but don't, don't, to be cause fair, chaos within our society by throwing off what we are naturally. You know it's, it's Hollywood doing what they did with black people recently too. Cause we're, they're just getting out the black wave. I mean, we're still we're in the mix of black and women wave right now. But remember, at first, it just started off as the black wave. And they were just creating a whole bunch of black content, I think. You know, wouldn't you say that? Like, all those black movies that came out during that time. From, like, Think Like a Man all the way up to now, you know? 
Okay. And what, what, what's your point to that? I'm saying they had, it was the renaissance of black movies. Now the, t the time is switching to now women movies and black women movies. So it's just like, it's a moment, you know? Yeah, man. I, I mean, I don't know if it's a moment. I, the only time, the only way it's going to be a moment is when the money starts fucking up. That's when it's going to make it a moment. You know what I mean? Once they stop watching Black Panther, like once they stop watching like whatever Supergirl or whatever's yeah. coming out next or one of these, and it, it, it's not I even mean, that it's happening that I'm mad. Though. It might like it. My thing is, most of the movies are bad too. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't even mind a good a, a, a good female protagonist. I enjoy. I enjoyed Woman King. I thought that was a good movie. I just don't like the name. I don't, I don't like what is represented representative of representative of and uh, the lies it kind of told the historical lies but i like the female protagonist in that mm -hmm. i fuck with something like harley quinn wonder woman but these are characters that are there they don't gotta make wolverine a girl you know what i'm saying <laughs> they don't gotta make everybody i thought i thought woman king was from oakland <laughs> <laughs> who's that supposed to be that shit was basic there's a company, they're probably going to look us up now They once they find There's a company called BlackRock. Where we got those jokes. This is, this is some shit. This is uh, founded in 1988, initially as a risk management and fixed income institutional assets manager. BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager with $10 trillion in assets under management as of January 22nd. So a company like this, which is like probably top five, company in the world has mad influence right mm -hmm. probably owns probably news. has several i mean i mean probably owns a lot of assets in something like disney mm -hmm. they dictate how we start thinking a lot of the mm -hmm. time they dictate how we um y'all look that up black rock look it up and if i'm dead by next week <laughs> remember i said this <laughs> But uh, yeah, these companies, you know, they they have a new product that they're coming out with that they know is, is dropping 10 years from now and they got to get the world ready for it. So they start to push the narrative. And even just the whole, you know, the feminist movement, that's all about uh, just being able to tax more people. Because before, they used to just tax men. Right. And then the world was like, man, imagine if we tax everybody. <laughs> So how are we gonna do that when the woman at when a woman at home? We gotta make her work. Make them work, man. You know they ain't. How are we gonna do that? Make them make them want to work. Ooh. <laughs> make, make them feel like they them want out. to work, like, like they're not independent. Yeah, make them feel they're like not they're not strong equal. if make they don't feel it if the, they don't work. They're not equal yeah, if they don't work. That's shit easy. That's like a that it, it, it's easy to think of stuff like. Oh that. yeah, this episode is getting shut down tonight, son. So you know what I'm saying? You know, it's all it's all part of the game. That's why I said just go to bed and wake up and <laughs> just go to bed. You've you given up, nothing huh? about it. It just is what it you is. See, if, it, if, if if they can cancel Kyrie and Kanye, what are they gonna do to me? What are they gonna do to me? I mean, or do I have less to lose? <laughs> you have a lot less to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Uh, Man. Yeah, I, I guess I should be the one that's really out here, but then no one's gonna listen to me. I just feel like at the end of the day it has an effect on the real world. You don't see any uh, uh, black male leaders. Because they get killed, man. Nobody trying to do that shit. You see, exactly. what, you see what, what happens when niggas even try to post a, 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 a repost a, 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 a movie. That's what I'm saying, man. Like It's like any time that tries, or even when, I, when we were looking around during the whole uh, BLM movement, you know, I was looking. I was like, yo, who's, who's, who's the... What's his name? Who's the guy? Who's the man that's gonna lead this thing? Who's Darren. king? Who's king? Darren. Darren. You know Darren? Sharper? No. Who? Darren. Darren? Darren. <laughs> no, hell no. You know Darren with the vest? What's his name? Darren, right? What's his name? I know exactly who you're talking about. What's his name, y'all? Darren? Fuck all them people. That's who was leading us, man. Darren. All them BLM people that ended up looking. And who were the leaders? Three dykes. D Ray. <laughs> Three dykes. I don't even know who they are. I bought a house in Canada for like two million dollars. Is it big? Got all. Oh yeah. Got all that money and dipped. 
They probably, that's not leaders. They probably didn't even take all. They didn't even get all the helpful. money. They just probably got paid. They probably got. How you gonna help your fellow man, Black American, here in Canada? You could even build that mansion somewhere here, like they in, need a safe house and predominantly to to build up the community. You could put a nice sign on it. Just in case all the black people, you know, die in America, they got they got a safe house there in Canada. They can restart the population. That's what the thinking was, man. BLM was was the movement. I appreciate the movement of BLM, of course. I believe that. I believe the statement of BLM. But in terms of, oh yeah, we definitely kicked off after I said this a million times. But I, I believe in that. But the 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 organization, Jesus Christ, where are the leaders? Where's Dr. King? Where's the Malcolm X at? I think too they be they be making up these things to start uh for fundraising for different politicians and stuff. Like if I'm a politician and I want to run, but I don't have the like I don't have enough funding, I'd be like, how can I get the people to donate to something? Be like, hey man, let them think. <laughs> let them think. You know, let them get mad about a certain thing, and then and then let them let let me get give them the solution. <laughs> my point is keep the X-Men the X-Men stop changing shit stop making men feel less than stop making them feel frightened <laughs> stop making boys feel frightened because we need strong leaders men in this country I didn't mean that this to turn into a goddamn speech but <laughs> we do if you if you keep uh, shaming us, and and you know, then where we gonna be at? Yeah, I don't really care about X Men, so you know it don't really bother me. But it matters, man. I know it, it, it'll trickle down. The next thing you know, we need Marvel make another Blade, make it good. <laughs> it'll be the W and NBA. We start calling it the W, and then it'll just be women playing too. And then you have to, it'll be like high school where you gotta play uh, at least two girls a game. <laughs> <laughs> Every team gotta play the, the, the girls at least 12, 20, to 12 20 minutes. <laughs> so they'll have to play. So it won't even be like, who's the best? It'll just be like, all right, we gotta play our girls this quarter. Come on, uh, and also lower the rim. I don't, I don't care if they do that. Hey, I'm not watching. No, I'm watching if they dunk it. I'm not watching. If they're dunking, I want to see them I don't dunk. I man. I'm literally watching. I, like, I have the best thing in front of me already. I don't want to see the... Unless it's like... I don't know, man. Because I like high school basketball. I like... I even like AAU basketball. I, like. I want to see Coochie in faces. You ain't going to see it. I want to see Coochie's hit faces. Dunking on these girls. You know how... You know. Yeah. Guys, for some reason, like putting dick in his faces when they dunk. So I want to see coochies and faces. Let's go. The 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 posterize. Have them dunk. People don't get posterized as much anymore. Niggas move out the way. Niggas do move out the way, huh? Niggas don't want that embarrassment too. Social media. I feel like social media made people stop getting dunked on. Damn. Yeah. So you think when you go to a court nowadays, people be like, "Hey, stop recording, B." No, nah, they don't. They don't say that because they know you're like, recording. But you record, if somebody going to go dunk and moving out of the way, they're not even jumping. Damn, they're not even jumping for the most part. You just don't. You, that's gonna be on online forever. One time I got dunked on in a high school game. I know that's somewhere, and then I didn't hear about it for you know it was like senior year, and then like a year later I was at my one of the courts, and this dude was like, "Oh shit, you the dude from the school that got dunked on." Like, man, they had you on the morning news. <laughs> I was like, they had you on the morning news, guys. Anybody damn. ever finds that footage, yo, y'all just send it to me. That shit is funny. Um, it is about to be eight on this side. I want to get into our last story of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, talk quite a few things. We talked quite a few things about uh, women on this pod tonight. And I want to hit one on a man. Do y'all mind if I uh, go in on a man for a second? Oh, excuse me. This is a trans person. So a woman, man. Trans woman. If y'all can believe this story. Um, I got the news report up. So hopefully we could just play it straight through and see what happens. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Got your headphones, bruh. 
Headphones. We need a light that said headphones on. <laughs> headphones up. Put this on and... Welcome back. One of YouTube's top beauty influencers was arrested earlier this week in Miami Fair after use. an incident at a popular Miami Beach hotel. Nikita Dragon, known for being a transgender woman and very well known on social media across all platforms, allegedly caused a disturbance at the Good Times Hotel. So her arrest is causing uh, much attention That's on social man, media dog. after people found out that she was held in a men's unit. Mm. NBC 6's Steve Litz is joining us outside of the jail. And Steve, mm. exactly Getting what poked. happened and what is the corrections office saying <coughs> about these allegations? Well, and it, it, and it is turning out that what she claims, according to corrections officials, is not the case. There are strict procedures in place, ladies, as to how inmates are processed through these jail facilities. This, okay. uh, this uh, transgender woman went through the process here at the TGK jail facility. She's famous on social media. She told the judge she was being held in the men's unit here. Correction, corrections officials say that is not the case at all. Miami-Dade Corrections clarifying, wanting to make clear their treatment of social media influencer, transgender woman Nikita Dragon. Regarding her gender identification, she told the judge, You want me to call you miss? You what would you prefer me to address you as? She, she and her as Oh, okay, that's fine, thank you. But the police report notes Dragon would like to be recognized as a male. Dragon, a beauty social media influencer with millions of followers on several social platforms. Bro, that's a man. I don't know. <laughs> you seen her before? <laughs> no, but I can tell. Face big as fuck. Arrested on Miami Beach for causing a commotion. A lot of Asian have big It was about six yeah, o'clock Tuesday night here at the Good Time Hotel on the heart of South Beach. The police report says Dragon was unclothed and then walking around the pool inside the hotel, making a scene and disturbing the normal flow of business. Police confronted Dragon, saying she was arrogant, Chris, uh, splashed mm -hmm. water on an officer and a security guard, then got arrested. And while in court, said this. And your honor, may I ask one question? Sure. Um, may I, do I have to stay here in the men's unit still? Yeah. Turns out, according to Miami-Dade Corrections, she never was. Dragon never made it beyond the booking process, was never placed in a men's unit, and was placed in a holding cell by herself due to... So that was the first part of the story that trended. Mm -hmm. That video leaked of her, uh complaining to the judge hey can i please be transferred to a male, okay. male prison and everyone was going in saying oh shit this transgender woman mm -hmm. was in a male prison they're probably doing ungodly things to her <laughs> and then uh so this this uh story is basically saying that's not true high profile status in a statement to entertainment outlet e news her publicist called dragon being held in the men's unit quote disturbing and dangerous we reached out to that publicist and we've not heard back um, and dragon disturbing. faces three criminal charges one batter on a police officer a second battery charge and then a third charge of disorderly conduct bond was set at two thousand dollars and she has been released from jail live in northwest miami datum now here's the question would you feel bad based on this is a, a, a person that was running around butt ass naked probably dick flopping everywhere titties and dick two for one <laughs> flopping everywhere around the hotel whatever people call police the police get there to her hotel room or wherever she's at she opened up the door starts yelling causing chaos throws water in their face and slams the door they end up arresting her. If they found out that she was thrown in a male populated prison based on her being a man, what would you say? Is that fair? Not fair? Feel bad? Not feel bad? People? What you say? Is this part of the episode two overboard? <laughs> but how would you feel? I'm just curious. Mike, what you think? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I would. I don't. Do you think she should be in a female prison? Or I, should they make I wouldn't know how to make that decision, honestly. <laughs> you just fell out the loop. Because even if she says she want to be in a female prison, I'm going to be like, but what about the women? Maybe they're in danger because you're still a man. I feel like 
you shouldn't be able to go to female prison unless you made that ultimate snip. But even then, it's like, you know? I mean, you can't do nothing worse than big women than there can do to other women. It's not still a man. Uh, she got that man's strength. You can't snip that off, you know? Does she have that man strength? She got yeah. I don't know what the, 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 the all right, a skinny know. dude and, a, and a, still with a lot of a woman's ass like. That's crazy, bro. I don't know, man. This is crazy, dog. This is all crazy. Make a trans. Make a transsexual. <laughs> I don't even know what to say no more. I'm going to This is bed, the world we live in, man. These are the decisions we got to make, Mike. No. It's man. up to us, man. I'm going to be like Carlson White. <laughs> we no, got to no, do no, this. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. She's actually tiny. That's what they said. What does she look like? Oh, I, I don't know if I can type that in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can Bro uh, uh, Fuck it I'm not gonna say that I'm, I'm logged like into comedy expert. trap I'll service that What's her name? I don't know I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm like an expert at, trans, at spotting a trans person But I be feeling what? like I can see a dude I know a dude when I see one Bro Have you ever ran into one and not noticed? You you thought you had an experience, <laughs> almost, yeah, almost, but never confirmed it. <laughs> Didn't want to. I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to confirm. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it, dog. Uh, yeah, what what is this guy? But I'm saying, even, I'm saying in person though, like in pictures, yeah, you can fool. You can fool people in pictures a little bit, or on video even, but like. This is a man. You would not be able to tell that, Mike. These pictures are fooling you, bro. But look at look at like her and those in that mug. Definitely, shop. look. He look, look like, like he a part of the the, the like the, Jet Li. Oh yeah, <laughs> like Jet Li in, in that picture right there. That's it's, scary. These pictures as you can't fuck. really trust them too because you don't know what she's doing to these pictures afterwards. When she when she takes them, and you don't know her, and she she got the right angle looking. Like look how she covering only showing one side of her face. These girls don't they be doing with these pictures too, bro. That's the that's worst she can she do is fool me online, and then as soon as I see her in person, I'll be like, or if I if I talk to her, because you can you can only do that soft voice for a little bit. You can't do that for a whole conversation. You can only do that soft voice for a little bit. <laughs> It's gonna be something I say that's gonna make you laugh. Oh, oh man, what the hell was that? I don't know where we at, man. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm sure the rest of us, the chat's lost. We're all lost, but we can all laugh in the face of lostness together, y'all. Yeah, eventually that bass gonna come out. Ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for joining us on another episode of Mayhem Hour. It's been a great show. Great time. Mike, you had a good time? Good time. <laughs> good clean time. Good clean time. Had a chance to run through it. Uh, holidays are coming up, people. Stay tuned for some news from us about uh, what we got coming up and the break we're going to take and all that stuff. Uh, we got the Comedy Trap House news on Monday. Check that out. Comedy Trap House podcast on Tuesday. And we'll be back here next Friday. We'll make more Mayhem Hour, so let's do it. Shout out to all y'all in the chat. Much love and respect. And uh, we are DB. Peace.